Hey YouTube, Stephen Gilbert here, um, testing out what should be a rescue airboat that me and my father put together. The base is a Helimax uh, pontoon for bigger helicopters onto a stainless steel plate with a 110 millimeter rudder, uh, waterproof servo, uh, pretty hefty stuff. Um, the only place I lacked is probably the motor. This had a 15 turn motor. Um, it, and I put a water cool jacket on it. I didn't get a chance to plumb the water cooling stuff. So I ran it a couple of times and this is an 11 by seven prop. It's huge, it's very aggressive. So it burned up that 15 turn motor quickly anyway. So I have a 35 turn. As long as I don't go full throttle, it'll do pretty good. I think it has enough thrust to move across the water. Um, I don't have a boat to test to push around. I just wanna make sure that it's gonna work. So I'm running a 2,500 mAh battery, push pretty far, for, far forwards. I don't have a strap for it yet, but I don't know, I might be lazy and just use the tape. That That's pretty good. That, that stays in place, so. Um, yeah, so we're gonna take it out there. I wanna do a quick shot of where we're at. Um, admit, we've been here in many videos before. We were the other side of the lake. This is uh, Columbus, Ohio, right next to um, I-270, uh, Worthington, Delaware, exit 23 um, water's normally pretty calm it's just windy today so I'm just gonna go down here and put the boat in okay one last final test before I throw it into the water to make sure it's okay okay now bear with me I'm using one hand for this I gotta kind of chuck it out there because the rudder's so long all over it's gotten cold for spring oh all the water immediately went up oh my god that's moving pretty quick and I'm barely using the throttle oh my god full throttle just wants to nose down I'll definitely need to put the weight in the back That is not as much throttle as I thought I'd need. Oh my God, that's so scary. I've never built anything from scratch like that with no plans. Turns pretty well. I definitely feel like I could do something to the front of it to stop it from nosing down. Man, it's cold and windy. Definitely need to put the weight towards the back. I really thought I needed to bias it up front more, but obviously not. Oh, wow, that turns on dime. <laughs> Especially when I let off the throttle. Let's pull it back and see what temps we get out of the motor. I'm putting the thing down so I don't hit myself ah oh, and then the wind blows it back out <laughs> we'll get the temps in a second or I'll put them up above okay we didn't temp it I'm just leaving right now we didn't temp it because uh, my hands are cold can't get a true temperature when it's 30 degrees outside but it worked well as you guys could see I'm happy with it I'm just gonna move the battery to the back Ugh. say bye bye pond like and subscribe and thank you from Stephen and Chelsea.